This is simple DCRS wireless electricity. And you might be thinking, what's DCRS? And I was myself until a good friend put me onto this. It's Dipole Coil Resonance System by KAIST of the Republic of Korea. And they're saying they can get 5 meters from a couple of hundred watts of power transmission as opposed to 2 meters from MIT. I thought I'll have to have a look at this. And they use a large piece of ferrite with windings on either side. I've got 17 turns on the left and 18 turns on the right, which seems to be the same as their video. I'll, uh, I've included a couple of pictures at the start of this video to show that. And on the receive side, we've got another piece of ferrite. Uh, this is from an old radio with the old radio tuner coil in the middle there. And that is the receive circuit with a 0-512 PF variable capacitor. And we've got the bridge rectifier, a smoothing capacitor, and a battery or load on the output and you can see this is receiving quite well there we are with the uh, LED on and this watch circuit running and if I disconnect I can prove that the watch is running <laughs> there we are light goes out and the watch fades out so next I'll show what else it can do one thing I'd like to point out is that DCRS apparently has a range of 5 meters and they seem to be going against MIT with a 2 meter range from their original experiments. So that's why I wondered would all this lot over here actually make a difference to reception better than a standard coil. I mean this is a little choke coil and I can put that there and the thing comes on but it does start to fade off well before this bar here. Here's more ferrite a bigger piece and you'd expect perhaps that to receive further. The thing is, if I move along here you can see it's gone out already. So it looks like this side, this system, is actually pretty good and does work well. And there's the, uh, the other one actually running fine with that in the way. So also of course that means that this ferrite here isn't soaking up all of the energy. If I move this whole assembly out of the way and we have a look at the, dis the distance that this one will go we find it quickly disappears to nothing again. So there we are. That's what I wanted to point out was this, uh, this system on the right hand side appears to be very important to the running of the circuit. Here it is running a motor, it's a semi levitated rotor there. I'll stop it, let it start again. There we go. So there's that running wirelessly. And finally, now swapping back over to a blue LED the effects of tuning the tank circuit similar to lid motor showed in his recent videos if I take oh, try and find a way of doing this if I move this you can see it fades out if I move the rod further down if I move it back oops there we go we can get the LED coming back on again so it does work in the same way so there we are there's the uh, the front end circuit again similar to the Centurion I've been working on recently there's the receive side and that is dipole coil resonance system in the Republic of Korea the simple DCRS wireless electricity version of mine okay thanks for watching